Hello everyone, Red X Rain here with another episode of Let's Play Bill and Ted's Excellent Video Game Adventure for the NES. So last time we saved William Shakespeare, and today we're going to save Robin Hood in the colonial era. I'm pretty sure Robin Hood isn't a historical figure, only because I don't think he was a real person. Uh, yeah. But then again, I guess, uh... There's those theories that uh, Shakespeare wasn't a real person either, so. But I think there's more evidence that he was real than uh, Robin Hood. I think Robin Hood was just sort of a amalgamation of what people, sort of like a, I don't know, archetype character. Here I am blathering on about my fictitious characters and I'm just bouncing all over the place, not paying attention to what the hell I'm doing. So we're gonna continue our quest of getting more coins because I don't want to run out of I don't want to run out of coins in the last level here. So I'm gonna actually hit down in the fork or up in the fork. I should have hit down. If I had hit down, <laughs> I'm glad I didn't do it backwards. I only thought it backwards or set it backwards. If I had hit down, I would have ended up in the spot that I usually start. But uh, over here, we're gonna have a uh, another river to traverse and we'll pick up a bait along the way too uh, I think I actually passed it let's see I thought there was a a bush over here or something that has bait am I really just losing it that much today that I just can't seem to yeah okay no I'm uh I'm right it's not the right bait but uh at least it proves that I sort of know what I'm talking about. Oh, uh, this game has been a... Uh, I don't know if I want to say it's a labor of love. <laughs> it's certainly labor. But, uh, it's, it's been, uh... It's been tricky. Having to come up with new stuff to say the whole time. But this is gonna be definitely the last episode. I'm, uh... I'm looking forward to it, to sharing the uh, the epic ending with uh, everybody, and and of course moving on to another movie themed game next week for my weekend matinee. All right, so let's hop in the canoe here. And this uh, this route is a little trickier than the medieval one. Medieval one is really easy. I think it's let's see. Medieval, Medieval World 2, because they're really the same level. That one's also very short. Of course, Colonial has it, as we saw, and uh, the Modern World has it. So, the Wild West and the Ancient World don't have rivers. I think that's all of them. Oh, well. I've been talking over it lately, but uh, the, one, uh, the one part of this level that I do like, I do like the music in this level. Sort of a remix or reinterpretation of um oh god, what song is it? Um da 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 Oh what a terrible American I am. It's not the Star Spangled Banner. What the hell's the name of that song? Every heart bleeds true for the red, white and blue. I don't know, it's uh it's a song about the flag. Anyway, so here I am back sort of en route with uh, the place where I would usually start the level, and we have some guys chasing us. Oh, and the bag of money is exactly what we need for Robin Hood. But we don't need these guys chasing us, so blow them up. And actually, we might really luck out, and the uh, Robin Hood might be in this building... Oh god, this guy. I thought he was just running away from the sound of the firecracker. Well, because there's a few buildings on this side, and I can't remember which one is supposed to possibly have the historical figure in it. Definitely not that door, because it's closed. Maybe it's this one? Is he in here? He is not. There's the music that I like. 
<laughs> of course, I can't think of the uh, freaking name of the song. Keep your eye on that grand old flag. Is it called grand old flag? I don't know. I don't think there's uh Yeah, no, that... That just has someone to talk to in there. Which I haven't uh, really taken advantage of in this Let's Play. It's really not worth it, talking to the townsfolk like that. The people on the road, yeah, it's worth it to, you know, get coins and pudding and textbooks and stuff, but... The really weird conversation system in this game, it's not really worth it. But if you want to try this game out for yourself, and you want to see what, uh, what I'm not showing, then by all means, go for it. I'm trying to get away from these guys. I'm like, I'm not doing... Oh, great. Ugh. <sighs> I got thrown in jail, and I wasted a textbook. Wonderful. God, all these guys. But maybe this, maybe uh, maybe Robin Hood's over here. Might as well make the best of a bad situation. Well, of course he's not. And I'm thrown right in jail. Oh, lose a coin and thrown in jail. Wonderful. I don't know what the Colonials have on uh, poor Ted, but. Does not go well for him. Does not bode well. And what's in here? Some lady in a blue dress who I don't want to talk to. And this guy wants to throw me in jail. I also don't want to talk to him. Just want to find Robin Hood and get. Oh, God! Ugh. I think I always get thrown in jail at least three times when I play the colonial level. Uh, maybe I'll edit this out. Nah, I didn't get that far. You guys can stick with me. You've, you've, if you've stuck with me this long, I think you can, uh... I think you can excuse a little, uh... Retraversing of our steps here. Hopefully Robin Hood's in this, uh, series of buildings. Otherwise, we gotta go all the way to the frickin' other side of the level. And I don't want to have to do that. Uh, oh, let's not get caught by that guy. Oh, Robin Hood. Well, that puts that uh, rumors to rest. He is apparently a real person. Because Ted found him. And yeah, I sure as hell hope that you'd pay for the call, seeing as how you uh, just got that bag of money. bag o money Go through the... Oh, that was terrible. We're doing okay on coins. I mean, 13 is pretty good. Well, I don't want to jinx it here and mess everything up. Well, too late. Let's try the bottom one, since it's an easy shot anyway this time. Well, it was worth it. But, of course, we're getting kicked around all over the place. And 10 was what I was expecting. I wanted to have at least 10 coins going into the final level, because I think it's the most my uh, most hated level. Let's see here. Not Caesar, not Elvis. Saved him already. Didn't get to save Al Capone. Ah, Jesse James. And yes, we are going back to the ancient world. I hate that freaking level. Um, but, and uh, I don't know what the hell I'm doing there. It's always 555. And if it interests anybody to know, uh, Jesse, J I am actually a relative of uh, Jesse James. He's my, um, oh, I don't know how many generations back it would go, but, you know, he's my great, 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 great uncle on my, uh, on my mother's side. We have the, my, uh, grandfather's Bible, the Dar family Bible, has a family tree in it that shows that Jesse James is our, uh, relative. And we got six coins, which isn't too bad. Oh, I thought I was going to mess it up there. And there's no rivers here, so we got to just... We just got to be careful not to run into anybody, I suppose. And uh, there's someone who wants to throw us in jail already. Yeah, come on. Now there's some bait over here somewhere. Is it this rock? No? Is it this bush? There's... 
probably should have uh, had my map ready for this one. This is going to be a long final episode. Maybe it'll hit me if I walk this way. Oh, yeah, that's right. What am I thinking? There's a different rock over here that has uh, the bait on it here. Oh, come on. It's Marilyn Monroe's rose. I don't think Jesse James is going to want a rose. I'm going to call him Uncle Jesse. <laughs> and now we just need to get thrown in jail by somebody. So we'll... Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you serious? Any time that I wouldn't want to get thrown in jail, come on. Okay, I uh, don't know why that happened. He was probably running away from the firecracker. And Can you please throw me in jail, please? Yes, right me, right here. Thank you. Jesus. Any other time. Ugh. Whatever. So we'll jump in the corral here and pick up some supplies. Four textbooks, not bad. How many does that make now? Seven? That's pretty good. I'm gonna stick with the, uh... Yeah, I'll stick with the firecrackers for now. Because we'll pick up some more of those later, too. Save the textbooks as, like, a last... Last-ditch effort to, you know... To survive. Oh, jeez. Well, let's get the bait first. Is it the right one? It is an Uzi, which is what my Uncle Jesse wants. Uh, sort of a weird one. I mean, seems kind of lame. I always thought that the Uzi was for uh, Al Capone, actually. I thought that made more sense than giving it to Jesse James. I mean, I know he was a Western outlaw and, you know, I guess shot people and stuff, but an Uzi? Uh, well, I don't know what else he would really want, Jesse James. Let's see. Uh, yeah. I guess it's as good as that. Aw, oh, damn it. Well, let's try this again. Got four more textbooks, which is pretty sweet. I actually didn't expect that to happen. I was only jumping into the corral because I don't like going around it. I didn't think you could uh, respawn pickups like that. But uh, I'm not going to question it. If they want to give me highly dangerous textbooks, I'll, I'll take them. Especially with all these guys trying to throw me in jail now. Hope I can outrun this guy. Not if I keep running into people, I won't. Oh, come on. I'm gonna try going this way. I was gonna go, I went to, I tried going south last time. Well, before I got caught. There's sort of two ways you can go here. I can either approach from the north or from the south. I'll take it as an omen that I don't want to approach from the south. Because I guess this uh, path's a little, a little easier. Although nothing really about this level is easy. I freaking hate it. And of course, it's got to be the last one. I think it's, it's these kinds of paths that I hate about it. Because then this ends up happening, and then I almost get caught because I'm right on the freaking edge of the path, and then I get thrown in jail. So. Let's use up our textbooks while we have them. More guys here. Uh, that's twice I narrowly escaped getting thrown back in jail because of the stupid objects in my way. And I think I only have, like, one more skeleton key, so I definitely don't want to have a game over. Because the game is over if you run out of uh, skeleton keys and you can't get out of jail. And you have to... You have to start over from the, I guess, from the last historical figure that you saved. I, I cross my fingers, uh, knock on wood. I haven't, uh, I haven't run into skeleton keys yet, so I haven't had to really face that problem. So here's more of those stupid winding paths. Just blow everybody up. I don't need to worry too much about conserving my items now that I'm on the final level. As long as I'm not just willy nilly blowing everybody up. Although <laughs> it looks like that's what I'm doing. Jesse? Nope. Uncle Jesse's not in here, but we'll take the warp door to the final place where uh, he could possibly be uh, residing. Only got three textbooks left. 
Got 10 firecrackers, though. It's pretty good. Come on, I don't want to run into this guy and lose coins. Jeez. Uh, we'll use pudding on this guy because it's just one. Where'd he go? There he is. All right. So, if I remember this map correctly, then I think I'm uh, hot on uh, Jesse James's trail here. Or his tail. Tail? Trail? Hot on his... Hot on his tail. Yeah, that's how that idiom goes. Because <laughs> we got the little horse track up here. And that's where the historical figures have been the other times I've been in the ancient world. I don't know if I've been here twice, three times. It's just, it's just too many repetitive levels to keep in, uh, to keep track of, but... I'm pretty sure this is where I found the historical figures the last two times. It's supposed to be random, you know, where they place them, but... Uh, this is a really nasty, uh, a particularly nasty horse track. There's lots of bushes and fences and stuff in the way. But it'll drop us off right at uh, Uncle Jesse's door. It's too long, even the music goes silent. I think I got one more hurdle to jump here, and then, uh, well, maybe it's the next one. And then we'll be, uh, yeah, this has got to be it. Right there. That's what I'm looking for. No one to throw us in jail. Let's hope, uh, let's hope my Uncle Jesse's in there. And he is. Awesome. So... We've got all of our baits, we've found all the historical figures, and now it's just a matter of navigating through the circuits of time one last time, and this game will be, uh, game will be beaten. But I don't want to jinx myself, because, uh, let's see, we got six coins, that's, that's pretty good, but, I mean, I could easily mess this up. Not that I'm a pessimist or anything, you know. But I'm gonna play this safe. Alright, well maybe it's the bottom one I need to go to anyway. It is, okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, god. Please, no. Oh, it's gonna throw me in that other one, isn't it? Oh, god. Oh, man. This is, uh... This is one action-packed conclusion. I should be charging you guys admission for this, <laughs> this kind of excitement. Uh, let's see. That is exactly where I didn't want to go. Oh, God, please, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, the last coin. Oh, we freaking made it. Okay, so we get one more Wild Stallions performance, and it's a doozy. Get him wail on that guitar. Ted gets his solo. And the crowd goes wild. Dueling solo there. And that, my friends, is the game. Congratulations from Rocket Science. Game over. <laughs> game over would make you think that you just lost, but they're saying congratulations, so yes, you beat the game. Uh, so there's nothing else to do here. That's another LP done. Thanks uh, for watching, as always. I want to uh, always, you know, thank you guys for watching. I also want to say thanks to uh, all the uh, new friends and old friends that I have on the uh, Let's Play Sanctuary forums. And, uh, okay, apparently it's just going to recycle and we could just replay the game again if we wanted. Uh, but anyway, so, uh, keep an eye on my channel. I'm going to have some new stuff coming, uh, including, obviously, a brand new, uh, weekend matinee to, uh, to do. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.